Hi and welcome. I'm going to be showing you a tutorial today on how I made this card. This is just my practice card, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's a one layer card and let's get started. Okay, I'm taking some stamping up paper. Uh, this is crumb cake and I am taking my Memento ink, uh, rich cocoa. At first when I did this one, I used the ink from Brilliance. Um, I used a uh, it's called coffee bean, but I decided not to use that because it's a, a slow drying ink. I want something fast. So I'm going to ink up my stamp and I'm using a stamp. It comes in a package like this. It doesn't have a name. It just says the floral collection. And it comes like this in the kit on the package. So I'm going to use this one. So I'll be inking up using Memento ink, uh, rich cocoa. It's a really pretty stamp. I usually don't do tutorials because I'm not that good at it. I get nervous and I don't know why, but I do. So let's position this. I find it easy to turn the stamp, and then you're going to have to turn your, I hope you guys can see this, you're just going to have to angle it, any stamp that you have that's like this. It doesn't help because my thing is kind of big, but, and then we're just going to stamp down and press firmly on it. Not that good of an image, but it's okay. And it looks like this. It's not as rich as the other one that I would like it to be, but that's okay. Now the next stamp I am using from uh, my Creative Time, just a little note to say, and the package comes like this. This is what I'm using, and I'm actually using that uh, same, just a little note, and I'm going to use... I have two tools. I have, I call this the embossing buddy, the little pillow. And then I also have this one. Um, I really like the pillow one a little bit better because it gives off more of the powder than the other tool I just showed you. So, right now I'm just stamping this again in, um, the brown but I just wanted to make sure that I got the static off because I will be embossing so I'll put this let's see uh, put this right here okay then I'm gonna take the thanks it's uh, I don't even know what stamp set it is because I took the packaging off but I got it from Michaels a few years ago it's just a stamp set that has a bunch of sayings, thanks, uh, thinking of you, thank you, happy birthday, uh, it's time to celebrate, you're special, and that's what it looks like. But like I said, I threw away the package because um, I'm sometimes an idiot, <laughs> so yeah. So okay, I stamped the thanks in Versamark ink, I'm just going to put it right underneath. Okay, then I'm going to take my white embossing powder. This is the detailed embossing powder. Sorry, my fan is on. And that wasn't dry and it got stuck. Oh no. We can fix this. And we can fix this. I didn't test it out. Shame on me. If this ever happens to you, just use your finger and wipe it off. And we're going to see how this works. Let me close this so my fan is not blowing my powder everywhere. 
and making a bigger mess. So, when I turn on my heat tool, I let it get hot first. And then I apply it to the paper. Because then you're not having it um, scorch the paper or bend the paper. Okay? I mean, the S came out. It didn't come all the way out. But that's okay. You can still see it. So, we're going to fold this. And this is just a regular size A2, uh, A2 card. I'm using my bone. And I'm going to use my white gel pen. And I'm going to make little dashes. And this is a quick, easy card. Less than 10 minute card. That if you need to make a birthday card or thank you or get well whatever type of card this would this would work so like I said I'm just making little dash lines across the top and the side and then I'm going to color in Actually, I'm just going to outline this part of the image. I'm not going to color it in like I did the other one. So I'm just outlining. Okay. Sorry, that was my iPad. If you heard it in the background, I have this little saying that says, it's so fluffy. So, sorry if you heard that. And, and then I'll finish this off camera. And then I'm going to add... I should have been more prepared. Sorry, guys. Oh, where are they? Well, of course, they don't want to come off. I'm going to add some bling. I have a tool, but I'm being lazy. I'm not grabbing it, which I should. As my bling falls off, I'll get that later. Come on! See, that plane doesn't want to stay. It's like, no way, man. And let's do one more. Since it's stuck on my finger. Okay, well, we're just doing those two for right now. Because it doesn't want to go on. So here's my finished card. It's just a one-layer card. And I think it's very simple and cute and easy to do. And thanks for watching.